Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are decorating and styling my formal living spaces. I've also been requested to style my arched cabinet, so I'm gonna be doing that for you guys. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. I love watching Decorate With Me videos, and that's just what we're doing today. We're just decorating. Starting off with my console table, I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys some updates for this space. I haven't really updated you guys since my makeover in here. I did end up replacing the warped mirror for another one. Luckily, this one is not warped. My mirror is from Amazon, but Kirkland sells the exact same one, so if you can catch a better deal at Kirkland's, I highly recommend getting it from there. First thing I added was a lamp. I love having a lamp in this corner. This lamp is from Target. It's from the Hearth and Hand line, but it is painted. I painted it Accessible Beige by Sherwin-Williams. I get a ton of questions about this lamp almost daily. And next to that, I added two bucks just leaning against the lamp. For my floral arrangement, I pulled out my Maggie & Co. wicker vase. This one is currently sold out, but they have come out with a smaller version of it. I added some lavender stems from Target. These are my absolute favorite. I have put these and used them and styled them all throughout my home this year, and I do really love them. Next to the vase, I added a book with a candle on top. This candle is from Forget Me Not Candle. And my final touch, I'm gonna to be using an easel. This one is from Yee & Co. And my frame is from Target. I just added a print that I had from last year in it. And this completes my console table. I hate to tell you guys that I am going to be replacing this console table as much as I love it. I just want something a little bit more elevated, something that's better quality. This is not solid wood and I am looking to purchase a solid wood sideboard. I have found one and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. My arched cabinet is from Walmart. This is the viral one that sold out a few times and it has been sold out for a while. So I can link it for you guys, but it's not gonna be in stock. This was an impulse buy for me. I knew that if I didn't buy it, it would sell out. And now I actually do not love this cabinet anymore. I wanted it so bad, but now that I have it, there's a few things that I would like to point out that I do not like and maybe it's something that you will not like either. One, I have high ceilings and this is fairly short. Having a short cabinet is not really my favorite. Second is the amount of shelves it has. I wish it had some type of closed storage at the bottom. It has so many shelves and there's not much clearance between each shelf so you're very limited to what you can add here. The third and final thing that I just do not love about this cabinet is the color as much as I loved it when I first bought it. The more that I have it in this space, the more that I realize it's clashing with a lot of the other wood tones that I have. I want something that will be a contrast statement piece that's taller and definitely not arched. First, I added a artwork. This is from Amazon and right in front of it, I added a lid. I'm going to use this lid as some sort of hold between the book and the frame. That way the frame doesn't tip over and fall on whatever decor I have. I'm going to use the book to push the lid up against the frame and it will hold it in place and it will not move. On top of the books, I'm gonna add some bells. These are from Lux Bico. The top shelf is the arch, and this is the highest clearance that I have, so I'm gonna use my taller items here. Next to the bells, I added a vintage water pot. This is from Olive Atelier and some dried hydrangeas. And I love a layered vessel look. So I'm gonna add this one from Home Goods right in front of For my next shelf, I'm gonna use two small books, the smallest books that I have to cover up this label. I have tried to remove this label and the more that I touch it, the worse it gets. So I'm gonna leave it and just try to cover it up. Diagonally across from the vintage vessels, I'm gonna use my Walmart planter. This is the $6 viral planter. And I'm gonna use some stems in here from Hobby Lobby. Also for more layers, I added this tiny pot. This is actually a candle holder and it is from Hobby Lobby. Now for that zigzag effect, I'm gonna add my Hobby Lobby pot diagonally from the Walmart one. And now that I've created some sort of pattern, I'm gonna start filling in my shelf. I added a book with these candles on top. 
obviously these candles will not be lit but i think they are really pretty here together to continue that same color palette diagonally across from the candles i'm gonna add these bowls these are paper mache bowls from Olive Atelier, but you can honestly find these just about anywhere online now. I will be sure to link some from Etsy for you guys. And from here, I'm just going to keep filling the bookshelves. I'm going to use some more books. Decorative boxes are a great way to fill shelves like these. And on the next shelf, I added a, another paper mache bowl, but this one is tiny and it's brown and it is so adorable. It is from Cottage and Key. And next to it, I just added some wooden lace. These are from Home Goods. And for the very last shelf, I'm going to use my rattan tray just because I really didn't want to add any decor here. So now that the cabinet is fully styled, I'm just going to close the doors and peek through to see where I need to adjust certain things. So the boxes are my first item that I felt like I needed to adjust. I want it to look centered when I'm looking at it when it's closed. When it's open, it's still going to look beautiful, but you also want it to look really good when it's closed as well. So I'm just going to move everything and make sure it's centered when the doors are closed. And I'm also going to move everything forward. And now we're done styling the cabinet. I hate to say it, but I think this is the last time you guys will see this cabinet in my space. Again, I'm selling it on Facebook Market. I know someone else will love it more than I do. Something about it is just, it's not fitting right. And you guys will probably get what I'm saying when you see the end shot of how everything just kind of feels a little boring and there's no contrast to it because it's just too matchy-matchy. So this is everything I have left over and I'm going to use these items to style my coffee table. Now I'm going to do something that I should have done a long time ago which is adjust my drapes. For the longest time I had my drapes puddled on the floor but I am going for that cleaner look and luckily I can adjust my drapes because they come with these hooks. You can adjust them up to 3 inches and that's what I did on the other side. I just have to do it on this side and immediately it gives it a fresh newer look. It feels like they are newer drapes honestly. Moving on to my coffee table, this is a coffee table that I used to have in my main living space. I recently sanded it because I want to sell it. I noticed that a few different people in my area have the same exact table on sale and they haven't sold for a very long time. So I sanded it to give it a different look and in hopes for it selling faster than everyone else's because their tables are just sitting on Facebook market for the past few weeks. So this table is here temporarily. I've had such a hard time trying to find a table for the space. I've ordered two. One came in from Amazon and it was a total scam and one that I ordered from World Market. They just ended up canceling because it sold out. So now I am down to one more table. I'm getting a vintage Elmwood table. So I'm really excited about that brown vintage table. The striped one is from Colin and Finn. The floral brown one is from Amazon and this one is also from Amazon. It is designer inspired. You guys, I've seen so many designers use this print and this pillow cover is under $21. So I highly recommend checking it out. I will have it linked for you guys. It's so good. And you guys always ask me about my kids and where my kids are when I'm working. They are always with me. They're either napping or just behind the camera. So Layla wanted to help me today. She was so cute just helping with the pillow. And then she gave you guys a little thumbs up. I hope you guys caught that. It was so cute. For the coffee table, I am starting with this French vintage crock. This is from Elsie Green. I added two bundles of baby's breath and I didn't add any water. I want these to dry out. 
I really love a full maximalista looking coffee table so I'm gonna add a stack of books and I'm gonna place a scalloped marble tray on top I love this marble tray I've been seeing it everywhere and I'm sure you guys have too it is worth every penny and right on top I added a match cloche I also added the scallop tray if you have been wanting this tray it is back in stock and I will have it linked down below for you guys this candle is from Bella box I have been working with them over on Instagram they are a candle subscription company and last, I'm going to use the Art of Home and I'm just going to have it open. I'm going to flip to a page that I feel like corresponds with my space and just leave it open. My last touch is this antique inspired chamber stick holder. It is from the Vintage Rug Shop. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me as much as I enjoyed filming this for you. Let me know down below what you guys think about the updates that I want to do in the space. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any future updates. And make sure you also follow me on Instagram. Instagram always sees everything first. I'm able to shoot, edit, and post on there a lot faster than YouTube, of course. I love connecting with you guys. And a lot of you send me pictures of your homes. And to my surprise, a good bit of you guys have my exact dining room set up and that makes me so happy seeing that I inspire people and I love that so much. So if you have any pictures you want to send to me, please do so. If you just want to chat or say hello, if you have any questions, please hit me up on Instagram. I cannot wait to talk to you and I will see you guys in my next video.